Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the counselor's office. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor, and we are back with some more Destiny 2 news for you. A lot been going on. It's been bit really busy. New dungeon, new episode, news about Destiny Rising, a lot of stuff going on. But something that uh, is very particularly interesting that I want to talk about for your faces. We have Evan, uh, Evan F., who's done some videos in the past that I thought were pretty cool. I don't watch every last one of them, but some of them are pretty interesting. Talk about the, you know, past of Destiny and, and such. Here we have, this just proves Destiny should be putting the emphasis on raids, dungeons, as they always, in my opinion, the best parts of the game anyways. So what is this reference, this tweet re reference? Well, it's referencing to Paul Tassie's article, Destiny 2's dungeon launch actually outperformed episode launch. That's right. Uh, it, I'll, I'll have the article for you down below. Also, white glass. Please put on, like, I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, I thought it was funny. I keep, I've been keeping track of, like, the, the, the population. I've been keeping track of how many people I've been playing versus, like, other seasons, other things. Because, obviously, I like to do reviews. And we just see how, if, is, are people coming back? And people did come back to a certain extent for epi episode echoes, like, 40, 50K. Um... More people came back for the dungeon, which let's read the article and we'll talk about it, shall we? Much ado, uh, what is this? Uh, Destiny 2 launch and actually performed episode launch. Much ado has been made about Destiny 2's often record low player counts based on Steam data over the last few months since the final shape. Sometimes by me, immediately. But checking those same charts, I noticed something pretty cool happened this week. Yeah, so that people are like, this just happens every year, every seasonal, every expansion. Like, I hate bring dead people. Yes, because every season expansion also has record lows. And Bungie has multiple layoffs. And Sony is in control and has is telling them to get their head out of their ass. Yes, these are things that happen every year in every expansion, every release of every little thing. No, you are stupid. Uh, so, yes, we're currently at a record lower low player count. The launch of Destiny 2's Episode 2 Revenant, of course, resulted in a spike of more than double in terms of player count, up from previous lows. But usually, while day one of a launch is the highest you'll see, no matter what comes after, this time around, the new Best vs. Host dungeon launch and ensuing contest mode raid race is actually beating day one numbers, 89 concurrent to 78 for Tuesday, as I write, this at noon on Saturday. They have fallen to 79, still topping launch day. This is very good. In an era when it's easy to be negative about Bungie and Destiny pro project prospects, this is indeed a pretty positive sign that new content can be well received and widely played. The dungeon is generally thought of to be a big hit, and the raid race that was not really a dungeon race ended up being cool in contest mode for this weekend is pro pro provi proving to be generally challenging the world's first race actually went longer than room nightmares race which <laughs> says something yes it was a shitty raid from a shitty expansion in general episode revenant seems like it's going to be better received than episode one echoes namely due to its better more interesting theme a greater investment in onslaught and solid weapons gear in this dungeon so that's good and the narrative doesn't suck ass people like well, the the first episode, uh, episode uh, seasons are always the worst. Yes, but these are seasons. And Bungie said that they're changing up the framework, which it just goes to show that the bigger criticism that Bungie doesn't listen, doesn't change, and everything you they say should be taken with a grain of salt. There you go. Summed it up for you over that video I talked about. Uh, but what may factor in here is the ability for players to complete all Act One story content for the next six weeks in about ninety minutes. Yeah, it's very short it is really bad which can be done on launch day that's when i i many others beat it so from here there's no need to check in on weekly reset for story upbeats and it's just going to be gear grinds by themselves a reset for things like nightfalls iron banner launch and so on i think despite these current highs that could lead to some new lows we'll see for now i think vespers host sh shows that even if bungie scales back on content overall they could turn dungeons into sort of mini raids with a bit more difficulty, tougher mechanics, and this contest mode race idea. We're going to do this again next episode as passes for two dungeons have already been sold. But with the launch of Frontiers, we're going down to just one raid and one dungeon a year. No more dungeon pass as Destiny content continues to scale down. Which again goes back to this post right here. 
again, my general thoughts is I liked the raid race. I think that uh, turning a dungeon into a raid, I think is a little, it could seem a little excessive. I don't like that the, the final, final boss has too, is too goddamn long. Uh, it's just, there's, it's not necessarily a difficult thing, except for me in contest mode. Outside of that, it's just more of annoyance. Like I don't, it just, it feels more annoying than anything. Uh, but I like, I like the new dungeon, by the way. I just wanted to clarify. I, I think it's really good. Uh, and a lot of people do. The numbers show that people would prefer dungeons over seasonal content. And I think at this point, that's what Bungie should do. They should focus more on seasonal content, or not seasonal content, more on dungeons and seasonal content. It's just a shame that we're going to one a year instead of two. Uh, I think that is a massive misstep from them. But we'll see how it turns out, Cotton. Uh, best parts, maybe, but the minority of players actually care about raised dungeons because of multiple layers of inaccessibility. Bungie needs to alleviate some pain points to get more players involved. The data shows that's not true. More people were on during the dungeon. Maybe they should have easier raids? They do. A way to find players? They do. Ways to get gear? They do. At what point is it on players who just don't want to actually apply themselves? Cook, Evan, cook. Maxim, Dick Ridery. You have zero... Uh, raid clears and only 16 dungeons, nine being actual full clears. Any opinion you have about raiding in game PV in this game is actually dirt. Please pipe down. You think, listen, this is going to lead us. I'm going to agree. I'm going to be very honest. Like the raids, I get the raid. Like this is kind of unfair. He's showing one singular raid and not any other raid or any other dungeons. Like this is the new dungeon. Like, bro. How many dungeons do you how many dungeons do you think he has to do? Oh, 16 all together. 16 all together, zero raids. Again, I think there should be a, you should be invested into it uh early. But you can still have an opinion even if you don't play. Like if you would try and you find that this is it's too challenging, too hard, you can have an opinion. There's people that have opinion that Elden Ring is uh too hard. And that they shouldn't nerf it. They should have an easy mode. I disagree. But that's an opinion they can have. It's a wrong opinion, but they can have that opinion. Um, and that's okay to voice it. You you can't tell people not to give their opinion. They are a buying customer. They purchase it. They have a right to give an opinion. Whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. If they purchase the product, they have a right to give an opinion. Whether it be right or wrong, that's up to Bungie because ultimately they're the ones that are listening. They're the ones that hear us. Uh, yeah, I just thought that was an interesting little tangent. But overall, um, I do think that the numbers show that people are more excited for dungeons. And I even said it before the dungeon came out, the dungeon content usually is the best part of Destiny and it's more accessible. Generally, more people play ra dungeons than they do raids. Because you can solo the dungeons by by yourself mostly. Like I could solo it. It might take longer, but you, anyone I think can solo this as long as you don't hard wipe. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I just think it's very telling that less people got on for this episode than last episode, and obviously that's because the final shape. But it drastically dipped while the echoes was going, episode echoes was gone going. It nosedived. And for this launch, it was even, it was lower than expected. But dungeons, man, dungeons, like, well, let's go right now. I love checking steam charts, and it's only fair that I do it now. Not when it's just low. Let's look at the high. Yeah. I mean, we're getting, we're stabilizing. It's also at night. And it's the end of Sunday that I'm recording. It's stabilizing, but they're like, we we went from here and we're doubling. Are we gonna keep this? Like that's a twenty percent gain. That's they needed some gains, but is one dungeon going to keep everyone? A lot of people came back because they're like me and they bought it already. Uh. But we're going to see in one dungeon hold there's uh, the seasonal stuff. Who knows? Is that going to hold? We'll see. We'll see. Right now, the numbers are the lowest they have. There's very low. Like for even for new content, this number 
is much lower than what they were. Like, when you look at all the hot spots, even at the highs, all the different highs throughout the year, we are still pretty low for a new dungeon and new, new episode. So, again, facts matter more than feelings. We'll have to see. I'm going to play, get my money's worth, and then um, I'm going to be playing some other games in the future. So, check me out. As for that, let me know what you think. Do you think that they should just give up on seasonal content and just do dun just dungeons? Dungeons and other small activities? Overall, I say so. Like, screw narrative. Put it in dungeons. I mean, they make you play exotic missions. Hey, do exotic missions, dungeons, keep those. But let's get rid of the stupid busy work that no one gives a crap. And let's be honest. They could make permanent fixtures in the game instead of seasonal activities that no one likes or enjoys. That they waste hours of resources, time, and whatnot. Honestly, just get rid of it. People, it do this, and I think you've got a formula. Will that evolve the game? Not the extent that we need, but that's what expansions are supposed to do anyways. But you let me know down below. Until next time, don't forget to be the best version of yourself, and game out.